hey everyone welcome back to my channel in so today i'm doing a smoky eye look it's really easy and beginner friendly so without wasting much time let's just get right into the video so i'm going to start off by priming my eyes and i'm using this elegant pro concealer i'm putting it all around my lid and i'm going to blend out the edges with my finger sometimes my brows they like to play with me like i'm having a bad eyebrow day but i just have to manage and please guys manage it with me okay i'm just going to set where i put that concealer with setting powder so my concealer doesn't move and guys a friend of mine came to say hi to me so if you see my mouth moving just know we're adjusting and she's disturbing me so just be with me guys so for my transition shade i'm going to be going in with that brown powder yes honey you can actually use a powder as an eyeshadow mm, honey you just have to improvise you know i really don't have an eyeshadow palette that really has those brown shades so I just have to improvise honey you really don't have to spend much to do makeup just use what you have and you know try to make things work yeah and I'm just blending that eyeshadow I'm just blending around my crease I'm just going back and forth yeah I'm just gonna keep going back and forth until I am satisfied I'm just really going to blend it out so there are no harsh lines I'm going to start from the outer corner of my eyes and I'm going to work my way into the crease like so guys blending is really key when you're doing your eyes you really have to make sure you take your time and blend 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 yes honey blend because you don't want to see no harsh lines and you want your eye makeup to look seamless so you just have to blend and make sure there are no harsh lines So right now to deepen my crease more i'm going to go in with that dark brown eyeshadow and i switched my brush i'm using a more dense not really fluffy as the first brush that i used and i'm going to you know darken and deepen my crease but notice how i am coming low i'm not really going up like i did with transition shade i'm just going to blend and make sure i blend and blend and work my way into the crease so everything just looks nice i'm just going to keep blending and blending until there are no harsh lines it's really funny i always make a weird face when i'm doing my makeup like ah abby it's not that serious it's just makeup okay can you see i'm making a weird face so guys be with me like I'm actually laughing to myself right now. <laughs> I'm just basically doing the same thing for my other eyes. I'm blending and making sure there are no harsh lines. Let me tell you something. If you have a small eye socket like I do, you really want to raise your brow. Like, raise those brows so you can really get into the crease. I'm going back in with my blending brush and I'm just going to, you know, further blend my transition so it looks seamless so now for my lid i'm going to be going in with this bh cosmetic shadow palette i'm going to be using that black shade right there for my lid i'm just going to pack that color on my lid i'm really going to pack it guys like pack it don't worry just pack it if you have a gel liner you can actually use your gel liner before going in with your eyeshadow if you really want your eyeshadow to really pop so I'm just going to keep packing that eyeshadow. So now I'm going to go into this other black eyeshadow. That one has shimmer in it. So I'm just going to apply it on my lid again. I'm also going to pack it then we're going to go into that dark purple shade and we're going to use that shade to blend out the edges of the black eyeshadow 
yes we're just blending i'm just blending and making sure you can see where my lid color is starting from i'm just going to blend and blend and i'm taking it up a bit but i'm also blending out those harsh lines like the edges of the black eyeshadow i'm just really making sure to really blend it out So right now I'm just taking my blending brush and I'm going back into that transition shade and I'm just really making sure to blend out that purple shade. Hey, hey, yes, give them, give them. My friend was just hyping me up really guys. So I already did my lashes. Now I'm going to moisturize and prime my skin. I'm going to do the rest of my skin off camera because I don't want this video too long. I'm going to do my skin and I'll be right back so guys now we're done with our face we're going to finish doing our eyes so i'm using this i'm using the black eyeshadow that i used earlier i'm going to you know apply that black eyeshadow under my eyes i'm really going to make sure i blend it out and i'm also using the purple eyeshadow to really blend out the edges so, it, so it's not looking so harsh so yeah just really making sure i really blend and you know smudge it out now i'm going to dust off my setting powder and i'm just doing my blush so now i'm just going to powder the rest of my face using my powder brush i'm really taking it down like blending it to my neck all the products i used are going to be listed down in the description box so for mascara i'm going to be using this zara lengthening mascara it's a nigerian brand i'm just going to do my bottom lashes i'm also using this gold eyeshadow for my inner corners just to make my eyes pop a little bit yeah and i'm going to do my lips all i did for my lips was line it with a brown pencil and then i went in with a new lipstick and i really blended them together okay sis it's time to slay yes oh damn wait 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 honey can you see those eyes wow <laughs> So guys, that's pretty much it. Please do not forget to subscribe. Thumbs this video up. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think about this video. Tell me what kind of videos you like to see on my channel. And um, I added gloss to my lips. So tell me which do you prefer. Let me know down below. Please follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at the Elvis. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.